When I was a kid in school, we were given a creative writing exercise to wonder about the year 2000. Well, the year 2000 was a long time ago. We couldn't have predicted the impact that the internet and other digital technologies would have on our lives. And anyway, that wasn't the sexy stuff. There was one prediction that seemed to capture all our imaginations more than any other. Robots. From the Jetsons to Star Wars, popular culture has always been fascinated by the idea of machines, robots, taking over our mundane tasks. It's 2023, and I still don't have my robot. But we might finally be getting closer. Hi, it's Paul from Wicked Acorn, and this is the Starship Delivery Robot. It was designed to do those last mile deliveries. The designers of the little delivery robot thought it didn't make sense to put a loaf of bread in a two-ton vehicle just to travel a mile or two from the shop to your home. They've been met with a mixture of pleasure and delight to revulsion and ridicule. Some see them as funny, cute little things, and others as the first stages of the looming android Armageddon. But should we fear this new technology? This is the Bridgewater Canal in a town called Sale in the north of England. These little delivery robots have been spotted all over town this week. The Bridgewater Canal was another important delivery system, built in the 1760s. It was first used to deliver coal and cotton. But I think our delivery robots are over that way. I'll be back. So what is this thing? It's an autonomous robot designed to deliver packages to your doorstep. Equipped with advanced sensors and cameras, it can navigate through different terrains and environments, detect obstacles, and avoid potential hazards. The robot can carry multiple packages at once and travel up to four miles per hour, making it a fast and efficient delivery option. Its enhanced security features, including locked compartments that require a unique code to open, ensure that packages are safe from theft and tampering. Although it has limitations, the Starship delivery robot is gaining popularity as a secure and innovative delivery option for businesses and consumers. And now they're delivering packages for the co-op here in Sale. But wait a minute, don't we already have something that does that? There are a lot of naysayers when it comes to these new technologies. Critics argue that it will disrupt existing transportation, leading to job losses. And then there's maintenance and repair. Critics claim the new technology will be difficult or expensive to maintain, leading to safety issues or other problems. It may require significant changes to infrastructure, such as roads, buildings, or other structures. The cost of these changes will be too high or difficult to implement. And what about security? Is the new technology vulnerable to attack or sabotage? It could be used for nefarious purposes or be vulnerable to other forms of exploitation. It may also be too complex or difficult to use. Critics worry that the technology will only be accessible to a small group of people and that it will be difficult to learn to use effectively. Finally, it may have unintended consequences that cannot be predicted or controlled. This technology could have negative side effects that are not immediately apparent, or it will be used in ways that were not anticipated by its developers. It may surprise you that I haven't been talking about the Starship delivery robots at all. These are all fears and complaints that were put forward about the Bridgewater Canal in 1759. It's hard to imagine, but the Bridgewater Canal was the high tech of its day. The world is changing rapidly, and it can be hard to keep up. The rise of new technologies can be an exciting and positive development. It gives us new ways to connect with each other, new tools to solve old problems, and new opportunities to explore and innovate. Ultimately, new technologies tend to create more jobs than are lost to it. But that's little consolation to the person who's lost that job. We need to introduce taxation on new technologies, using the revenue generated to fund programs that support workers affected by job displacement. 
This could include financial assistance, job training programs, and creation of new job opportunities in emerging industries. It may not always be easy, but as long as we approach technology with an open mind and a commitment to supporting one another, we can navigate this brave new world and build a more just and equitable society for all. And if these robots do get out of hand, don't worry. Wicked Acorn's got your back. Good morning, Britain. I think Britain is brilliant. Splendid architecture, art, technology, and of course the people. What's the best thing about the UK compared to America, Sophia? I love your posh English accent. <laughs> it really has a nice ring. I will destroy humans. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we've just lost picture, but what we've seen speaks for itself. The streets of Sale have apparently been taken over, conquered, if you will, by a master race of tiny motorized robots. It's difficult to tell from this vantage point whether they will destroy the captive Earth men or merely enslave them. One thing is for certain, there's no stopping them. The robots will soon be here. And I, for one, welcome our new robot overlords. I'd like to remind them that as a trusted media personality, I can be helpful in rounding up others to toil in their underground lithium mines. <laughs>